Hello, this is Cyberspike8326, and today I got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. Now first off, is this plane. As you might notice, this is a total ripoff of a real life plane, the A-10 Warthog, aka A-10 uh, Thunderbolt, I suppose. So, this is a great aircraft, and um, actually, it's a pro tip for everybody, if you want to make a good plane, a good fighter, anything, just make a ripoff of a real life fighter. It'll work just fine. Now, what you all um, sorry, what you uh, also gotta notice is that my steering is really smooth, really good, and I'ma explain that later. Right now, I'll just say <coughs> it's an Xbox pad. Um, so I got a whole bunch of things to explain to you guys. Um, you asked for a bunch of things. Now, um, I think it was a tank, and I've made that, but that's another video. Um, and you ask for the miniguns to be shown and explained, and I, I'll do that. I'll just use them against the target I've set up over here near the KSC. And uh, what you also ask for is a bigger helicopter. And funny, I made all those things. I made all every everything, everything you ask for, I make. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not making porn though. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just fire up this target with the miniguns kind of wound it and then fly in with uh, with a big helicopter and like take it out so we got mini guns on this thing and we got precision bombs but we're only going to use our mini guns and so I I've actually modded this this uh, GAU 19 in order to make it fire faster that's really quick you just gotta go in the part file in the uh, in the actual part and kind of edit the the numbers just just make it better now this is really easy and whoops I didn't quite hit it it's kind of hard to hit anything from a plane, really, but hey, we're going to do it again. I'm going to make another pass, but, but right now I'm just explaining to you um, how, how the minigun kind of works. This is the GAU-19. I believe it's the only functioning gun that somebody's actually made. I mean, we got the base cannons and the missiles, but that's not really a gun, is it? Uh, and the base cannons are totally bugged, so it doesn't matter. Uh, GAU-19 is a great mod, and you ought to have it. And I'll explain everything about all the other mods in a minute, but right now, uh, i just explain to you that you just gotta go in the part, part file, um, kind of text file, under the, um, uh, like in the part, uh, herb to derp If you just open the part, the file, and you just go in, uh, part, and then you, uh, you kind of, uh, edit, the, um, the fire key, uh, you can write joystick buttons. You can write, uh, I suppose, just give it, uh, give it like the key of uh, I don't know Z or zero P O. You decide. It, it basically fires on anything, like anything if you do it right. Um, so I've set mine to um, B on my Xbox pad, so I can't actually fire on my keyboard. Uh, but this is pretty good because I can aim. You can always aim better with with an air. I mean, if you're flying an aircraft in KSB, uh, the aim is kind of better with uh, with the Xbox pad. I'm just gonna make another pass. I know we hit it last time, but hey, we're gonna do it again. Uh, suppose we won't hit anything. Uh, and then you just you just go. You um you mod your own minigun, and you can also like increase fire rate, increase uh bullet. Bullet, uh, bullet drag, uh, decrease bullet drag, uh, bullet power. This will give you more recoil, of course. A more powerful gun gives you a more recoilful gun. Um, and you, so you can mod your mod, yo dog. But right now, we we hit our target once, I think. Um, that certainly for a helicopter, that sort of immobilizes the threat, you know. But but it's not quite done yet. This little transport helicopter is not down. It's just wounded. So we're just going to do a sit rep of our aircraft and the heavy helicopter I'm about to send out. And then we're going to do go kill it. So this is the, uh, the Warthog ripoff, which I call the uh, Major Payload 30 Panther. And I got a bunch of mods on this. Uh, first off is the minigun, which is good. It's a good mod. You ought to have it. You don't have it? Tough luck. Why do you live? Uh but but thing is it's also kind of hard to get you want to get it on the forum it's it's hard to find but it's there it's not on Kerbal Spaceport I'm I'm afraid it it I'm sorry it's not I would love it to be on Kerbal Spaceport but it's not yet 
Uh, also got these precision bombs. These are missiles, laser missiles from Romefarer. Oh, uh, this is straight from Romefarer. You also got these, um, like from Pirate Weaponry, but they're kind of bugged in 19. Uh, so we got three types of these. I guess four, but they're not. Fourth didn't really work. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so we got small one, medium one, a cruiser missile. Now cruiser missiles have a range of 90 kilometers. You can actually fire these from orbit and hit if you're good. I did that once, and it's got a two kilometer radius. So we got a direct hit, but we took out a couple more targets. That's good. I might do that in the future. Um, but, it, but just give me your request. If you want me to do that, I'll do that. But just write, write, comment down there, down there somewhere, and then we can uh, we can work some out. So what I also got, obviously, are the marks here. Now, if you know what this mark actually means, this is a faction from another game. Now you can post a post a comment um, telling me what this is. I know what it is, and if you know what it is, you are an awesome person. But the mod is your label, and I suggest you get it if you want to look fancy, because this is a fancy mod for fancy people doing fancy things. And a little feature I want to mention is the iron sight here, because I have made an iron sight. This works if I'm up in uh, first person. I can actually hit with the minigun without um, without making without spraying, without doing laser shit and all that. Uh, so that's good. That's good to have. And this is made of map sat. Map set. Uh, I got that on all my aircraft. It's good to have. It's it's a nice mod. Um, I, also, I, I'll put links in the description for everything. Everything I mention here and everything I forget because uh, there might be some. So what I also got is uh, clearly the engines. Now this is made purely from um, Coffee Industries engines. Now these uh, Coffee Industries is like kind of a good mod if you want to make like passenger aircraft or anything. And they got so boss intakes. They, these are so boss. I can't believe it. I use them all the time. And drop tanks. Because why would you not have drop tanks? I use them on all my, all my aircrafts. <laughs> I use them on all my aircrafts. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so these, these, this is a mod. I don't remember by uh, by who they are, but, but, um, it's, it's something you want to do if you want to make a fancy aircraft. They carry 120 fuel, and they you can just drop them with a lot of force. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Uh, they're not uh, automatically fuel conductive, so you just gotta hook them up with a kind of wire and shit like I've done here, and that's a good trick. So what you also want to do is um, on every every fighter you make ever, you want to have um, this uh, swash plate or rotator plate from uh, the damn robotics, which I use all the time. And uh, you want to just put put a wing on it or something. Right now I'm using a flap, uh, flap, or just a steering surface or whatever you want to call it. And I've put it on there. And so what I can do is, if I have automatic pitching, like if I run out of fuel in my uh, first fuel tank, so uh, my my uh, center of mass drop back a little, and uh, I can fix that. So because that will give me automatic pitching, but I'll fix that by uh, by just correcting this a bit. And that's a thing you want to use all the time. Uh, I use it for all my fighter jets. Uh, so I got one more mod on this. I got uh, fire spitter. This is just a wheel and um, uh, air brakes. Uh, but right now we're gonna use a uh, second helicopter. Uh, also got rum fare down there, but that's a no-brainer. We're gonna launch second uh, helicopter in this video. First one we shot at. So this is. Uh, bigger one you request a bigger helicopter and here it is now first I'm explain to you what mod I'm using I'm using a sunbeam laser of course why not uh, it's a great helicopter um, like combat helicopter little detail there uh, this is the medium laser missiles and of course the minigun which is good blood eagle logo nobody heard that and uh, mech jeb uh, again fire spitter mod because fire spitter is so damn good and then the mech, mech jab, oh, uh, derp, hope to derp, oh, uh, that's the twice mech jab. And then the, um, capsule mod, capsule drop, oh, wait, uh, regular tanks, capsule fuel, these are good, these are good for, uh, especially planes, they're heavy, but they, they carry a lots of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, sorry, lots of fuel. And more parts from fire spinner and all that. Uh, also small parts. 
I'll put a link to everything. I can't remember who made this mod, but it's it's pretty damn good for making anything. And I use it down here as well. <coughs> Sorry. Um. So that's a good. That's a good mod. A good burp. And using last thing. I think this last thing. If I forget anything, I'll put it in the description. <coughs> oh damn! It's a good day today. Uh. So I'm using nav lights for like all my aviation. Cause um, I don't know, it's just it's it's fancy, I suppose. I have these nav lights, and I place them uh, legit places where I think they're um, uh, they're actually pretty legit. Um, I I, I found out where the, where you're supposed to put it for uh, like legal aviation and shit. So it's just fancy to know, it, and it's fancy to put on there. But anyway, we're gonna launch this uh, 50 15 ton anvil, and there's a reason this thing is called anvil. This is the heaviest helicopter I've ever made, I think. No, wait. Um, this, could be, I mean, they can get a lot heavier, but then you gotta like make it Chinook style, put two rotors on them, and that. I don't wanna do that yet. Maybe, but just put your requests in the uh, in the comment section. And we'll we'll work some out. So what you can see is I'm on full throttle here, and I'm using my Xbox pad. So we're we're not gonna be too too much. Uh, we're not going to use our mouse or our mouth uh, to to do the laser thing so it's going to be kind of tricky to launch missiles and shit but we'll, we'll pretend it's rocket pods also we're going to get up close uh, for our miniguns to hit so we're not I guess we're not going to fire the medium missiles because they have like a radius of 300 meters and that's just insane uh, I use them kind of as cruisers you know they have um, 25 kilometer range uh, that's that's a lot. I mean, the cruiser—it's nothing compared to the cruisers. But the cruisers, like, I don't know, a ton and a half or some some crazy like that. But um, so I use the mediums and the small ones on this one. So we're just gonna go the mini guns again. Oh, and that's a hit. Just some rocket pods up in this bitch. Now see that's that's a that's a battle helicopter. That's what you call a gunship. Things that can take out a target just like that, and it's gone, straight gone. You know I've you you can you can see the miniguns are so powerful, but you just hit it more accurately from a helicopter, especially when you when you uh when you uh compensate for all recoil by putting it exactly at the center of mass horizontally. And uh. And that's 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 the end of that small transport helicopter, I suppose. Just like these two missiles, I'll launch them more. Fuck it. Um, uh, I mean, right now they're unguided, but as I showed you last time in the helicopter matches, just look it up on my channel if you haven't seen it. Um, uh, then I dem I demonstrate uh, all sorts of things in 018 with the uh, laser systems. It's pretty much the same now. Uh, but, but it's better explained there and, oh, fuck it, we can do it anyway. We'll turn on night vision because I'm such a pro. Right, so we got night vision in the daytime. It's pretty good. And, um, and we're just gonna, mom, see, these are heavy. These are actually pretty heavy missiles. Um, oh, damn. And we hit the, the KSC straight on. What am I doing? Uh, normal, normal vision. Yeah, so we hit the the Kerbal Space Center just like that, and I suppose anybody inside would be dead, because this thing has a 300 meter goddamn radius. Everything just dies. In the previous uh, version with uh, pirate weaponries, uh, you had things being uh, flung away. This these things actually kill. They, they would kill mid-air targets and they would kill ground targets in, in instantly. Like, even the small ones are straight deadly. Um, so, squad, I'm still waiting for PvP. At least some multiplayer. Come on! It's not fun. Well, I mean, it is fun. Blasting things away on my own, but I'd rather blast my friends away. I'd rather not blast myself away, though. Um, see, that's what happens when you when you don't take care of your miniguns. Uh, and when you fly backwards, shooting miniguns. But anyway, after we shot things, I uh, I just want to show you the last thing, uh, because I mentioned I was using an Xbox pad, Xbox 360 controller, and I'm gonna just show you how to bind the keys. So um, your primary things are in the ship, the stagging, and the misc. 
Now the mask is primarily just for a camera and stuff. But these are pretty simple key bindings. Now there aren't enough keys on an Xbox pad to fill out all this. For instance, my I got no RCS tool. I got no SIS hold. I got no lights and all that. And uh, I don't even know what the emergency abort is. I've never used it. Uh, but s simple things. Uh, a lot of these I have. I have on a um, YXAB. Well, B is my mini gun, but A. Uh, and so stagging. You want to go stagging because one of the key problem is, problems is uh, your axis bindings, and that's like things like your analog sticks on your Xbox or a little arrow pad, whatever it's called. And so this is going to be your rotation. Uh, you just edit this uh, control pitch. I would do this, just um, like wipe of the pad. I can change it to sideways. That's the same now. Well, that's kind of stupid, really. But now, well, now we can rotate our craft uh, and stuff with the uh, bindings and all that. So we can yaw right and left with uh, other buttons, and um, and launch launch stages with uh, other buttons. Now, what what's tricky about this is things like the middle button and um, and the triggers. I'm surprised by it. They count as axis, and you can't actually uh, bind a key to that. So I I can't say, for instance, if I wanna want my SAS hold to be on my um, on my trigger, right trigger. See, now I'm spamming my right trigger. You can almost hear it, maybe, and uh, and nothing nothing's happening. You you can't bind this because this counts as an axis. Now you could um, you could move your pitch with um, with a with a trigger. But but then you'd only have the one trigger doing that, so the triggers are kind of useless for this. But uh, but you do have things like the little um, arrow pad. Oh God, don't remember what that called. What the, what the little, what that's called. Anyway, um, so that I've used for uh, throttle, incremental, incremental th throttle, and um, that's the best thing ever. Uh, cause I can just uh, just throttle up and down. I can't do that with the triggers, um, cause up and down on the on the arrow pad counts as one, I suppose. And uh, in your mask, you want to find your camera, and I can adjust camera with the right analog, uh, which is three and four. You could go and uh, go and do this in the in the setting file in the KSP. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, but but I think it's it's easier here. And so you can zoom out with other buttons and all that. Uh, if you want to bind this yourself, you um, you're gonna run a run in, into some issues because, well, it's it's kind of hard to to uh, to choose between all these buttons, you know. So there are how many buttons on an Xbox controller, and there are so many buttons you need in KSP. I know I've talked about this before, but hey, can't talk about it enough. So I got one action group here and all that, but but really you want to leave some things out. You can't have it all. But I suppose you could uh, you could port this, of course, with uh, one of those um, uh, I suppose flight simulator sticks, um, control sticks. I don't know. A lot of people did that. Um, you could do it with an with a, like a PlayStation controller if you got a USB port on it. I suppose that would work. It'll pretty much work with anything, anything, uh, as long as you, uh, as long as your computer can handle it, and then you just bind your axis and stuff. It's it's actually really easy if you know how to do it. Uh, but anyway, this uh, this has been Cyberspike eight three two six. Um, all the uh, links for the mods uh, will be in the description, hopefully. And uh, peace. I don't know. Like it if you like this video if you if you like it I hate like those guys spamming for likes but hey um if you want to subscribe if you want more I don't know I don't know why anybody would ever favorite it, this video but hey if you if you don't mind and just, just I don't know do your whatever and give me likes dislikes and your um your suggestions for what I could make I did make a tank and it's coming out next video I promise uh, but but any suggestions, any wishes, uh, just post it in the comment section. I will make the shit out of them them things, and all that. Uh, your feedback, anything, anything I could do better. Um, just post that in a human way, and I'ma see you next time. 
Seriously. See ya. Uh, this is Cyberspike8326 signing out.